All right, and continuing our game. Now, we are going to focus more on uh, getting some more landers uh, unders, I believe. Uh, we can. Well, what can we do? Let's have a look. What are we doing, actually? We are raiding. Yes, we can continue raiding this. Sure. And let's just unpause it. I believe that is mostly retinues and raiders. I believe we can still actually declare war. What about you? Uh, we've got a truce with him. What about you? King Dag the Just. He hates us. We can holy war for it. Although that cost us a piety. We have a thousand though. Ah, what? Where, where, do you, where are you? Do you own more than one? That? And that up there. Okay. You're getting attacked anyway, I think. Defending against, defending against. Yeah, sure. Fine, whatever. You're probably getting eaten up by something else. And you there, can you... Let's see. No one's going to accept vassalization. We've got to... Uh... Two hundred fifty piety. You know what? Why don't we just extort tribute when we declare war? Yeah, they won't be direct vassals, but uh, we'll get prestige to be able to force vassalization on others. So we'll just do that. Off you go, boys, girls, whatever. Since uh, we've got <laughs> only girls really now under us, there are still some that are not. Gotta set this every single time. Settings on saving. So <laughs> you surrender. Well that didn't last long. <laughs> Alright, you you obviously will not join, so let's just Should we vassalize you? Let's try and get the the stuff that makes So we can actually create the duchies and stuff so we can or some du jour. Yeah, you will be force vassalized. And so will you. Alright. Actually, let's spend some money. To build some stuff. Get everything to an even number. So when we upgrade, it's, it's all good. Markets. Uh... We have hill forts. Just spend all the money. Training grounds. Spend some more prestige. Because we're getting more prestige while we raid. We get more prestige while we win these extort tributes. And force vassalizations, vassalizations cost uh, prestige. But that's fine. Alright everyone. Go! Ah, we converted something. Nice. Let's get middle pad. Or metal pad. Something like that. Hello. The ritual hunt. Um, tonight, the meat hole has been inflamed by rumours of a great wolf wandering through the forest near Upland. The man who spotted the beast claims that it is without doubt one of Fenrir's sons escaped from its frozen prison. The older members of the lodge agree that... As the Lady of Upland, it is my duty to track down and slay the beast. I have 103 personal combat skills with no negatives. Alright, I could use you, Rikisa. Some uh, kin slaying shield maiden. He's not bad. Well, I would need your skills, Bothilda. Or I would have nobody but you by my side, Ormer. He's a friend. So, the man is raving, there's no such beast. So, what happens? What happens if we take the weakest, the guy with the least combat skill? Let's do that. Let's let's find out. <laughs> okay, he um he died from a back case of flu. Wait, hang on. <laughs> Wait, Orma, you left me all alone. Oh no. Does that break the quest? Or the I mean event chain? What do we want to do? Duel for honor, sure. My cousin. Mm. The ritual hunt. <laughs> I'm gonna just like <laughs> lug him, like throw him over my shoulder and just lug his dead body along. 
Before we leave for this perilous journey to stay the monster that is menacing my subjects, I should make an offering to Ording to make sure I am shielded by the preternatural powers of the creature. I will burn the best cattle from my livestock. I will offer something of value for a safe journey. A small offering is all I need. And uh, I need no such... Uh, I believe a small offering is all I need. I, I, I'm i I'm good, thing, uh, I think. Let the hunt begin <laughs> with my dead companion. The time has come for us to leave the safe confines of civilization and venture forth into the dark domain of the monster plaguing my lands. With Odin's protection and my keen hunting skills, I am sure to track down this creature and put an end to the threat that it pit poses to my subjects once and for all. Let the hunt begin. <laughs> like, like, this guy, he's perpetually involved. The search for the Great Wolf has brought my expedition through a deep forest. A foe may be fearsome, but a journey to its lair was filled with the most auspicious omens. It's quite clear that the spirits of the forest are welcoming our arrival and helping me in my quest to slay the monster haunting this land. We can only hope so. Gain piety. another place. The great wolf is resting by a riverside, its long snout red with dried blood. Finding the beast at its weakest gives us a considerable advantage against it. Yet we must also be careful not to underestimate the, uh, this formidable opponent, especially now that we are so close to succeeding in our quest. I am not sure about this anymore. Omer's opinion changes. Coward. <laughs> I think Omer's opinion is never going to change, considering he's dead. Whatever. Finally, death to the wild monster. 83% chance of succeeding. Only 3% chance of uh, failing. Alright. The Great Wolf fights to the very end, but we are soon able to corner it and pierce it. Pierce through the tide a few times, keeping the creature at bay with our spears and patiently wait for the bleeding to weaken it enough to strike again. I land the final bow through the wolf's skull, pushing the creature on the, pushing the, creature on the ground, finally vanquished. I'll make a trophy out of it. So that's just an effect. It's not an actual trophy. It's like an artifact. It gives the effects until... For 100 years? Well, me personally, right? Attrition down. Personal combat skills up. Prestige up. We will bury its remains just for piety. Or I will bring the carcass back to my fellow warriors for 150 prestige. Uh... Make a trophy, I guess. Okay, just loot this place. So this is mostly retinue and stuff. It's reinforcing daily. Uh, not daily, monthly. Nice. Alright, how are we doing? Are you guys even fighting this war? Guys? Are they trying to meet up with me on, on my boat or something? All right, we're still trying to uh, sway this princess of the Holy Roman Empire. Can you guys please make a sun? Uh, let us talk strategy. Yes, Marshall. I've got lots of Marshall, right? Yeah, 30. She, yeah, okay, it worked. It doesn't really matter, though. I mean, I'm trying to get a... I don't know, I'm not sure. Swaying her serves no real purpose, actually. All right, good. Ooh, camp fever. Get out of here. <laughs> Aha, the kid's on the way. Truces are expiring. My vassals, I have no idea what they're doing. Where are you going? What are you... What? They're just taking tons of attrition. Okay, what do we want to do? Quails for and all this nonsense. 20% chance of getting gluttonous. We get health out of that, but lose. Uh, I'd rather not become gluttonous. I'll just eat some trout's eye now. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Ah, someone needs a marriage. Ah, yes, this bastard uh, of my dynasty and this strong brother. Okay. I'm wondering what the. I mean, you're, you've got this right now. You're not of our... And you're matrilineally betrothed to... Well, married now. There. To my brother. So what? what's the dynasty going to be like? I guess it's just going to be a random dynasty. What can we do? Oh, we want to revoke something. Right. 
actor. Uh, yes. Sure, let's do it. Let's get my troops and let's, let's finish these walls for our... the war is. Let's just gather up there. I'm not leading troops, that's fine. Okay, we finished looting that. Boats are only half full. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got some company, that's fine. Uh, East Anglia, Norfolk. Let's loot it. Loot them all. One of the maids helps me sit down, gently taking a feel of my belly and asks me if I'm comfortable enough. Another servant encouragingly holds a spoonful of soup close to my mouth. All this pampering from my pot, uh, from my gossips is really spoiling me. I can lose ambitious. Just soup, the baby is hungry. Or gain gluttonous. Oh no. 50% chance as well. Oh. I guess I'd risk becoming gluttonous. Uh, it's fine. Didn't get it. Court chaplain. We need someone who's decent. Search all. Uh, who's a woman, actually? <laughs> yeah, there doesn't seem to be many. We just invite someone again. Holy woman. 16. Okay. There you go. Convert. Excellent. Drosetti. Let's just hand this stuff out. Court physician. Yep, my newly invited person. Commander. Someone here. Chief just of Iceland. Why not? All right, that's that done there. Is, is this the one? Right. Where are you? Yeah, it is. All right, what have we got here? A son. Makarios. Okay, yeah, that sounds cool enough. 10,000 troops here. Let's just assault this. And uh, we win. Thank you. Let's look at a dungeon, actually. Let's just uh, release everyone, really. Right. Our son is sickly. Now right, let's head over here. Excuse me? Wait, hang on, wait. <laughs> How are you, London? Who? What? Who is this guy? Wait a minute. How did this guy... He doesn't say, it's just like... Then there was this guy. In charge. An adventurer. So he must have conquered it. He just came along and... Now we've got this Nubian... Count of Savoy under the Prince Archbishop Werdenbert of Savoy. Well, okay, that's uh, yeah, and yours, yours, your <laughs> my son is uh, the heir to that. Okay, that's that's yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> Why am I even paying that quack? Okay, I, I guess he failed. Just assault all this. There you go, hundred percent. So we we managed to revoke that, and since you uh, rebelled, we can just revoke that without con consequences. Um, it would be of benefit to the realm if I study the languages. All oh, right, study languages, right? Okay. Well, we don't want to become shy, so okay, let's study some languages. I should have maybe tried to arrest her. Ah, oh, well, it doesn't matter. So what do we want to create here? 
a new vassal. Oh, wow, you've been here for 11 years and you're 23? I'm sorry. <laughs> We're just going to release these. We're not entirely cruel. We're kind of... Uh, oh, 11 years there as well. Our character is not entirely cruel. If we were cruel, we'd probably just send them all to a block. We are still going to send some to a block. We can banish this person. Yeah, sure, do it. All right. Let's let's be kind. Oh, wait. We just like okay. Never mind. We just accidentally let all of them out. I only wanted to <laughs> click the wrong damn button. I wanted to do only let one person out. Oh well. Uh, I will ask her. Yes. Some friends. Now we... Yeah, we will hand this stuff out. We've got these two counties. Let's create a new vassal. Invite Noble to call. Hello? Yes, you look perfect. Agda. And let's create Agda. And then these two people who we just conquered, we might as well just put them under her as well. You're going to be weak, Doug. How about expanding Dexlagen to include Opland as well? Yeah. Your incapable 54-year-old husband. What? Okay. Interesting choice. Yeah, you can have... No, not that one. No, not that one. What are we looking for? Headmark. There, yeah, you can have that. And... Osterdalen or something like that? Osterdalen? Yeah. Okay, you're basically a double duke. Double duchess. High chiefess. No, I'm not going to join any plots to kill anyone. I'm not really... Yes, we can finally talk in private. Uh, right. Just trying to impress that woman for no real reason, really. That fur was filled with horses and cattle. Our raiders have rounded up a large flock in the main square so that I can decide which ones to pick for myself and what to do with them. I will offer them to the gods. Burn them. I will take the best specimens, gain gold, or I will share the cattle with my best warriors. 75 seed and shared loot. What does that do? I get shared loot until... What does that do? Increase morale or something? Yes, morale damage. Okay, fine. Let's go after something else. Lincoln, sure. Keep raiding. Ah! Leave! No, my retinue! Leave! Now! Leave! Alright, let's, let's return home. Let's get some more retinue in there. <laughs> let's, yeah, let's just... Get those. There we go. Nice. So what's the total? 4,200. 4,300 basically. Okay, that's fine. Just keep raiding. Drinking contest. Hafrid the Short Tempest has decided to share a few barrels of mead to the entire congregation tonight, challenging her fellow warriors to see which one among us will be able to drink the most without faltering. I shall be the one. I'd rather avoid the headache. No, let's do it. Alright, let's drink. Several recruits accepted my challenge at the mere mention of free mead, and soon the main hall is filled with cheering and clashing of tankards. The servants bring in the first barrel while we all find a place in the long table, eager to start. Come on, start pouring already. One by one, the other contenders either tap out or fall unconscious. I cannot see straight anymore. Everything is blurry, but I am still standing. Unfortunately, so is Sven. Uh, who's that? And he looks far more resilient than me right now. There must be a way to get ahead. Because I have... Uh... I have to try at least. Alright, we've got high intrigue, so... Try spilling most of your drink at each new round. Uh-oh. Oh no. <laughs> when Hafrid... Uh, when Hafrid shouts my name for a moment, I think I've won the, the game. Unfortunately, this is not 
the case at all. She has discovered my trick and called me out on it. Before I can try to explain myself, two warriors grab me by the arms and throw me out the main hall. Ouch. Lose renown. Oh no. 10% chance of becoming wounded. <laughs> Oops. Oh, that's a lot of renown to lose. Let's uh, duel someone. In fact, we could spy on someone. Spy on this guy. I wonder what he's hiding. Right, where are we going? This place is a mess. What's going on here? Camp fever. That's disgusting. All right. Oh, let's go for this guy, actually. Penthia. Penthia or something else. Like no, I need something real. The flight thing. All right, let's insult this guy. Lustful? No. Envious, shy, uh, no. Ambitious, proud, no. Uh, kind, yes, he's kind. All right, to see what you have become, your ancestors must be rolling in their graves. Ah, uh, we won. We can uh, insult him. We need our renown back. We're just gonna stop being such a child. Perhaps I shouldn't have treated Adalbert so poorly. Right after the game, he swore revenge for his humiliation and stormed off the main hall amongst the laughter of all the other warriors. Can the man not take a joke? We've become rivals. Whatever, let's duel. The spineless soft weakling, Adalbert, has refused your challenge. Oh, they are not getting away that easily. This option is available due to your, due to your high intrigue. We can corner him. 97% chance. Yes, do it. Adalbert Redcheeks has chosen to accept your challenge to personal combat. The duel will take place in the next few days. We are rivals after all, you can only blame yourself. That's what I thought. We can lose brave no. The sun is beginning to set when I meet with Adalbert, my long sword ready. After cl he clumsily dodges one attack, my next one lands perfectly. Frantically, the man attempts to cover his injured leg, but I've rarely seen so much blood. I walk away victorious. Yeah, no need to kill him, we'll just keep fighting him whenever we can. He's got stressed and uh, severely injured. All right, we've got plenty of people in our dungeons again. Wow, we're really going at it. All right, good. The accidental release. There was some kind of miscommunication between my jailer and uh, my my instructions. Uh, really? Oh, I don't care. <laughs> We're just going to get whatever money we can. I need something real. And uh, let's see. How old are you people? 24, 26, 29, 26. <laughs> let's see if we're going to be like mass murdering a bunch of young people. Uh, get rid of these kids. Not fit for a block. But the rest are good. They're fair game. All right, let's do this. <laughs> let's wait for the block. Time to spy on the spy. No, I don't think we need to. Come on, let's do this. This is so weird. <laughs> yeah, no, we don't need to do that. All right, I think it's time. There you go. I can hardly wait. Let us talk strategy. She's really starting to like me now. Knowledge is power. And we got some dirt on that guy. Now for the human sacrifice. Aha. So what do I want to be? I can be a master schemer for intrigue plus three. Same trait, same trait opinion goes down. Or I can get plus intrigue, plus learning... Plus morale damage, plus combat skills, and plus same trait opinion. I think that's like some kind of discrepancy. Like there's some kind of. It's not. I don't see why you would choose this over this. You even get some cool uh, torture techniques with Impaler. <laughs> so, unless there's like hidden effects of this, it just makes your plots better or something. Because that, that should surely be it. Like plus five percent plot power or something like that. I don't know. It's just. It seems so much better. You just fight better and everything, yes. Um, Alright, she's really starting to like me. 
All right, where's your blessed vision now, Vare Bork? Where's your blessed uh, uh, vision now, Sybil? Where's your blessed vision? <laughs> I think we keep saying the same thing. <laughs> Error, Menrick. I wish they would like change you up occasionally. Rip. And the last one. Where's your blessed vision now? Regenwelt. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, you guys won the lottery. You survived. You guys can leave. No, I need something real. I've already got something real. In fact, I can't arrest him. I thought I exposed some kind of plot of his, but apparently not. Where is the guy, anyway? Is that him? No? Yeah. Well, until the next time. More kids on the way. No, I can trust them. Alright, so... Uh, we've done a bit of conquering, a bit of reigning, a bit of uh, sacrificing. And, uh... Yeah, I'm going to take a break here. See you next time.